Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the DIY Designer. I'm Orly Shani. I will be your host on today's amazing episode. If you guys are new to the channel, I hope you subscribe. I absolutely love making these videos and I make really cool ones every single week, so I hope that you'll subscribe. And if you already subscribed, make sure that you click that bell so that you can get a notification when my new videos come out. Because that would make me feel so good. Make me feel good. Just do it. Just hit the subscribe button. Don't be so stingy with your subscription-ness. Okay, today is something that I've been stressed about because I have wanted to do it since I saw the very first photo of it, but I didn't know how I was gonna accomplish it. I was very nervous, but I freaking figured it out, you guys. And it is <laughs> so good, oh my God. Okay, do you remember a couple of months ago, maybe five months ago at this point, Michelle Obama broke the internet when she wore thigh high Balenciaga sequin boots. She was on a book tour. Sarah Jessica Parker was welcoming her up to the stage. She's in a yellow dress. She takes that first step and pow! Thigh high gold sequin metallic shimmery boots. They are sexy and fabulous and cool. And actually I didn't know these boots are the same as the boots, like those purple ones that Kylie wore a while back. It's the exact same body. It's the same shape, the same cut, the same everything. They just made a sequin version. Now these boots, you guys, are 4,000 of the dollars. That is a lot of the dollars. Way more of the dollars than I would ever spend on a pair of shoes, but I figured out how to DIY it and I'm really excited. This is gonna be a two-part video. So when you watch this video, I will link the next one next week will be the second part of it. Make sure you watch both because this is gonna be a two for one, um, the DIY itself. I'm gonna show you how to take a pair of ankle boots that you already own and recover them in the sequin fabric so that you've got a really cute pair of custom ankle boots. That's step one. Step two is we're gonna create a piece that goes over that boot and becomes the thigh high extension. So you can wear them separately or together. It's a really smart way of getting sort of big bang for your buck and really being able to use these a lot. You can make this custom to your boots, to your body, to your shape, to your everything. So let's freaking do it. It's gonna be so good. Materials. So here's that glorious sequin boot. This is what you guys are gonna do next week. Um, and we're gonna use the boot as a pattern. So for right now, I'm gonna put the sequin one aside and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the boring old faux leather boot. Now get some craft paper or pattern paper and lay your boot on top of it. You wanna find that first marking right at the top of your heel, make a little mark. It's going to wrap over your heel and attach under your boot. So sort of visualize where that would be, make one mark, now go an inch, cause the strap will be an inch and make another mark. Now we wanna do the same thing on the top of the boot. You want it to wrap from the bottom going over the front of your boot, over the top of your foot. Make the marking there and then just drag it up across the boot as it exists. You can see obviously it's ankle boot, so it's really short. Now we're gonna connect these lines with a curve. So you wanna curve it from the point you had on the bottom all the way up to the ankle or the top of the foot. You can see there, it creates like a stirrup. Now we are going to create the rest of the pattern. So I knew that from the back of my heel, 22 inches was about the right height. So I'm just creating a marking on my paper for 22 inches. And now I took a pair of leather leggings I had because the fit of them was perfect. And I knew I could use it as a guide. I just traced them all the way up to that 22 inch mark. And there I have the pattern. Now you wanna fold the paper in half because we're gonna actually cut this out as a full pattern so we can test it. Make sure to lengthen the stirrup so that you have the ability to shorten it later. So you can see, there it is. It's perfectly made to my boot so it fits perfectly. It wraps over the top just like it should, cuts up nicely along the back of the heel and extends all the way up to 22 inches high on my thigh. Now here's my fabric. I made sure to buy four-way sequin stretch fabric. If you can get your hands on it, that's the best bet. If not, just make sure that the two-way stretch is going across your thigh and not up and down. You don't need the stretch up and down. 
Take your pattern on the fold and lay it on your fabric on the fold, obviously. Now we're just gonna pin this in place and cut it out. I really recommend taking extra time on this bottom stirrup part because when we cut it out, we're gonna leave the bottom, this part here, just raw. And that's because it will be a nice clean finish and when it lays on our sequin boot, it'll just sort of disappear. If we hemmed it, that ridge would really show and we don't want that. So now I'm just using the sharpest scissors I have that are not my fabric scissors because I don't want to dull those fabric scissors. And again, during this bottom part, you just kind of want to take your time, make sure it's really clean. Save all the little sequined end bits because you can use it to fill in any random bald spots you might end up noticing on the boot, which we're doing in the next video. So here is my uh, thigh high piece. I'm now grabbing a stretch like, um, lining material, just a simple lining material. And I'm using the same exact pattern, except I'm not bothering with the stirrup part. I'm not gonna line that. I'm only lining from the ankle up. Cut it out, pin it together, and we are just going to sew one simple stitch right up the back. Now we're gonna do the same stitch on our thigh high piece. So take that fabric, fold it right sides together face to face. Make sure to take extra time to pin the ankle part and the very top part. Obviously, if those parts end up uneven, the whole thing's gonna look janky. So just make sure you take extra time. Now we are going to sew that closed right up the top. So here is my clear thread. If you can get your hands on clear thread, I really recommend it. It just sort of disappears when you're working with sequin fabric and I always try to work with clear thread. Now you can see I've sewn up my back. Okay, so we are very close to being done actually. Um, I know I mentioned that when you cut out your pattern, you wanna cut it on a, a scrap fabric. So find a similar stretch fabric that's similar to your sequin fabric, cut out the pattern, try it on, make any adjustments to that that you can then reflect on your pattern. Um, you wanna make sure that obviously you make adjustments not on your nice fabric. So obviously that's that's the first thing. Now at this step, I would try this on before you sew your lining and your sequin fabric together. Put it on your leg, make sure that everything is fitting fine because now is the time you would make adjustments if you still need to. I've already done that for mine. I've perfected my pattern so I know mine fits. So now it's time to connect our lining to our sequin fabric. Um, let's do it. So flip your lining inside out so that the raw seams are facing each other. The seams from the sequin fabric and the seams from the lining are facing each other. That way your boot will be clean finished on the outside and on the inside. Now just pin them together at the very top, straight all along the line together. We're gonna sew like a simple basting stitch, stitch excuse me, just to keep it all together. Again, kind of pull it, it's a stretch fabric, so for me, I just sort of keep pulling it, that way it can feed through. Now, I'm using lingerie elastic. This stuff is great because it's gonna grip our leg, and it's obviously really stretchy. You wanna measure out exactly how much you need, and make sure to not make it too tight because you don't want it to like squeeze and suffocate your thigh. You just want it to grip and hold on. I will tell you that I realized the great trick is if you combine not only the lingerie elastic, but add a piece of double stick tape when you're wearing them, these suckers will stay up and will not fall, but it's the combination of the two that really holds them together. Now you can see I just folded in the top and then covered it with that elastic trim and I'm sewing it down. So I'm hemming the top and attaching the elastic at the same time. Now it's time to sew our bottom closed. At this point, I would actually put the uh, thigh high piece on with the boot, but for now, I'm just gonna kinda do it like this, but when you guys do this at home, put it on and pull it, make sure it's got a nice amount of stretch, pin it, you're gonna sew it across and cut off any excess. There you go, simple stitch, and we're good. Okay, so the last thing you wanna do is just cut off any loose threads, make sure that they're nice and clean finished, flip them inside out. Oh my God. Dudes, wait till you see these bad boys in action. They're gonna go over where is that boot? They're gonna go over our fully sequin boot. The sequins are gonna disappear into each other. It's gonna look like one big thigh high boot that you can wear together or separately as little ankle boots. I'm gonna show you how they look right now, but you guys make sure to tune in next week because next week I'm showing you how to do this. You can do it with sequin fabric for this exact project or you can cover it in any fabric that you want. I'm gonna show you how to make a pattern based off your boot that you own and how to cover it in anything that you want. So whether you're doing it for this project or something else, next week is a must, must, must. If you guys liked this video, if at any moment during this video you had feelings of liking, I hope you subscribe to the channel. I do really cool, fun DIYs every week, um, and I hope that you love them. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, 
and take a look at these bad boys in action.